Hello everyone. In two weeks, I'm attending a good friend's wedding, and the dress code is African fusion. So by this occasion, I've decided to have my first African dress tailor-made by local African designer. Later today, I'm meeting Nozipo. She's an amazing well-traveled South African fashion designer. She's going to create a dress for me with a traditional Chinese silhouette, Chi Pao, and also use a traditional African fabric, Ankara. This is going to be a very unique experience. I'm really looking forward to see how the dress is going to turn out. And let's go. Yeah. So hi everybody, I'm Nassipo van der Bracht. I am a fashion entrepreneur. I'm also an attorney at law. And um, yes, I know, right? So I love, love, love fashion. And I think it's an excellent way of expressing oneself. As you can see, I like wearing like um, very formal, but at the same time with a tinge of color. Um, so we would love to make a chi pao. Chi pao, yes. Chi pao yes. for Molly uh, in African print. So I've got a couple of pieces that I have for you guys to have a look. Um, Molly will let me know which she likes and then we can make a stunning wedding guest dress. Ankara is like um, African print, actually not originally from Africa, from the Dutch West Indies which is um, now Indonesia and then it came to West Africa um, and countries that have made it very popular are Nigeria, Senegal, Ghana and it's the men actually in Ghana who love wearing this material. Women started wearing it as well and then they started hand making it themselves as well. I think um, way back when, as far as my history concerned yeah. me, um, African women always wore beads as well on their hands. So oh. they would get, you know, the, the reeds and then they would put. Yeah. I think we've, we're people who love to decorate ourselves. So we use beads or we use reeds to put on our, um, yeah. our heads. The headscarf, when I did a bit of research, came from, you know, the slave days they wanted them to yeah, cover their yeah. head. But now for us, it's a sense of pride. We don't see it as a negative connotation. We see it as a way to also, you know, showcase our style, our creativity. Because as I said, now you've got this head wrap that comes right in front of you. Whereas way back, it used to be tied at the back. So oh. you don't um, call attention to yourself. So you tie it all back. But now it's right in front, like the ladies did it for you. I know in Nigeria, there's a whole art to it. They put stuff in it, and then it's like this big meringue, look beautiful um, petal almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the traditional Kosa print or cloth. Oh. Uh, it's very hard. Um, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that, you know, once you're married as a Kosa woman, you're going to be working, so you need something that's like very um, durable, durable yeah. and long lasting. And um, so this is the Kosa pattern, and then we've got the beading ah, as well. So fabric is very thick. It's very thick. It's, it's like almost canvas. like a, a, um, jeans. Yes. Right? We also love, you know, these dots, and we do them also on our face. So uh, this is like so the beading. Yeah. yeah. And the lines, you normally would have black and white yeah. and then orange and white. Where we focus on quite a lot is the, the face painting yeah. and also the beads. Oh. And our um, head wraps tend to be quite elaborate as well with lots and lots of um, beading in them mm -hmm. and um, very like in different shapes so they, they, they tend to be quite big yeah. as well. So how do you call this dress? Black swan? Black swan. It's wow. called the black swan. Is it, isn't she a black swan? She can literally... Go girl! <laughs> this I can even wear still at work. You sure? I can wear it with... It. No, no, not the boobs. Oh, okay, because no. I was like... <laughs> No, that's you get a promotion <laughs> for the wrong reason. Right? So it's a traditional wedding. You don't want to have a traditional traditional dress. Exactly. So you this want is to... modern modern Zulu attire. I'm gonna wear beading, Zulu inspired beading. So with blue, red, red dominating, and probably red shoes. Wow. Then I'm gonna have my hair all curly. Long is this, but volume curly and black.
both look very stunning. I don't know which one to go. Mm -hmm. So um, I just have both of them made into the design I want. And I'll see which one fits me the best. Oh, right? fantastic. Yeah. We're looking forward to that. Yeah.